okay guys, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I absolutely had no choice. So what we're looking at here is the uh, Robo Buddy, and what it basically is is a Wi-Fi controlled uh, miniature tank, uh, more or less, that you can drive through your house. As you can see by the size of my hands, it's got a pretty decent size to it. I'd say it's about a foot long. Um, it has this antenna on it and uh, a little storage compartment in the back that you can put some different items in. Um, I bought this for $49.99 from Kmart.com and they were like a hundred and some bucks, 150 bucks I think when they first came out. And what you basically do is you download the app for it, you sync the Robo Buddy with your tablet and I'll show you the interface here in just a second. Uh, screen's a little dirty, I apologize for that on my screen, on my uh, iPad, but anyway, you set it up and you can basically, you, 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 leave the, you leave the unit turned on and you plug it into a little charging cradle and you can back it out and drive it around your house with a camera on or you can leave it on with the camera on and log into it any time to see what's going on in your home. So you can drive all throughout your house and you can uh, just check and see what's going on. I just tested it. I was driving around the house upstairs and I'm down in the basement and I had very few issues with it at all. Interface is very simple and very easy to work with. Uh, the app is really easy to use. If you grew up, if you play any kind of video games where you drive cars or tanks, you're already going to be used to it. And uh, it, does, it does have, I don't know, like a 900, I want to say 900 uh, milliamp 7.2 volt battery, which is only good for about 50 minutes, but you could drive around your house and drive back into the charging cradle and let it sit. Uh, you can check it anytime. So I'm going to be using this um, in addition to our home security system that we already have here at the house. Um, I'm also going to use the Robo Buddy to drive around. And uh, I think it's kind of cool. And my cats don't really know what to think about it. But it is kind of slick, some of the stuff you can do with it. So just a few of the features. You've got your little tracks going on here so you can drive over carpet. Um, let me go ahead and get the app uh, going here. And uh, you do have a, you can connect uh, locally or you can connect directly to the Robo Buddy. And you've got like a 35 foot range when you're connected directly to it, just like it acts as an access point and like your iPad can log onto it or your, your, your phone can log onto it. And uh, what that'll do is that'll let you control it directly or you can hook the Robo Buddy up through your Wi Fi system and you log in through a, a user administration uh, name and a password and you are able to basically control the Robo Buddy from anywhere in the world that you have a Wi Fi connection. So just to kind of back up here and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, so the camera's turned on and it does have night vision on it with, with actual infrared, which is cool. I was driving it through pitch black, which was really cool upstairs in the living room. So what we have here is let me go ahead and just turn the guy sideways here. Uh, over on my wall, on the right side, there's a poster, Supernatural TV show poster with uh, some autographs and a table and so on. So this is what the Robo Buddy is seeing right now. Okay, let me put my hand in front of Robo Buddy here and you can see my hand going in front of the camera, all right? But uh, anyway, uh, when you touch the screen, you've got this whole interface and you can disconnect. You have a camera mode to take snapshots. You can record. Uh, you can actually hold down the microphone when you activate it and you can touch and talk right through the center of it and it relays your voice to the person on the other end uh, that RoboBuddy is, is interacting with. Um, you do have a couple different options for a Wi-Fi connection. There's some settings. This is night vision mode or infrared mode which you can turn on and turn off. Actually if I just turn it off um, I don't know how well this is going to work. Let's try it and see what happens in uh, pitch black. But you have a little controller here, so if you push it up, the tank will drive up. It'll drive forward or backwards. If you touch left or right, he's going to rotate left or right. And it is kind of cool. I had something like this back in the 80s called the Big Tracks, except it wasn't exactly remote controlled. You'd punch in some coordinates and directions, and it would do it exactly what you wanted it to do. So let's go ahead and just turn the lights off here. A little bit. Let me go hit the other light. It's going to be totally black here for a second, so just uh, bear with me and we'll see if we can get the. Oh, other switch. We'll see if we can get the Robo Buddy to, uh, to show up in, in pitch black. I'm just kind of doing this without any kind of rehearsing, guys, so I apologize if uh, I seem a little bit off here while I'm talking. I don't really have any kind of script or anything. So it, we're sitting more or less in the dark. There's just a little lamp on in the distance, so let me go ahead and just turn on the uh, infrared. And you can see that there's some red lights that turn on on the front, and this is what I'm actually seeing. Okay, if I turn the infrared off, it goes back to total black. So, uh, infrared on, and then you can also raise the front of the camera, which is kind of cool, to get a better view up or down. And it actually physically rotates, it'll actually lift and lower 
the uh, the front of the the Robo Buddy. So I don't know. I thought for forty nine bucks, it's just kind of fun to to have, just to kind of terrorize the cats and kind of mess around a little bit and just kind of have fun with it. So if you're looking for something kind of cool that has some you know basic home security potential. Um, this is one of those things that you might want to look into getting and this is just the interface on iOS Okay, and so the cool thing is that I can get into the app anytime I want to and I can check and see what's going on in the house I'm gonna park it uh, so that I'll have a really good view of the living room and the dining room so I can see what's going on Now granted we have the home security system that that will you know obviously alert the authorities in, in the case of a break-in But it's kind of cool just to have this option, right? Like I said, you can raise lower drive backwards drive forwards okay and you know all right I, I am a grown man okay but I'm also a radio control nut I used to race uh, RC cars back in the day in the 90s uh, on carpet and I had an RC airplane um, you know just any little hobbies like that that would just be fun it's not fast but to be honest with you to control it smoothly I don't think I would want it to go any faster I mean you start running into stuff you start knocking things over so it is very easy to use and the more I mess around with it, the easier it is to control. Here, let me just show you what I'm actually seeing on the camera. We're just going to drive them straight ahead towards the edge, just rotating. So I am very impressed with it. Um, like I said, I got it at Kmart.com. Oh, Ammo Cat, she doesn't know what to make of it. Um, let's see what she looks like. Look at that. Check that out. All right, Dharma. She's not amused. She smells something on the countertop, but I don't think she knows what. Anyway, so, all right, enough of me messing around. So, yeah, the Robo Buddy. There wasn't much for videos for this thing up on YouTube, so I thought I'd just go ahead and make one up. Like I said, it, the, it's a 25 megabyte download for the app. Uh, it's It was 50 bucks for Robo Buddy. It was five bucks for shipping. And it is kind of cool, and you got the potential to put your favorite, uh, you know, soda or, or bottle of tea in the back, and you can drive it from the uh, kitchen to the living room without actually having to leave. You can just kind of sit there and run it out there and then bring back the empties and so on. Um, very easy to do. I think it takes about two hours to fully charge the battery and a 50-minute run time, and I haven't run it long enough to actually know uh, what it's actually going to do. So let me raise up the little... The neck here and then turn the uh, infrared on there you go anyway so it does have some pretty cool options it uh turns its lights on and off accordingly depending on what it needs to do so if it has enough light it doesn't necessarily run it if it needs it it'll turn the lights on accordingly so that is very cool very fun so yeah the robo buddy man check it out i can mess with this thing all day i think i'm just gonna the other cat hasn't seen this yet, so I don't know what she's going to think about it. Ammo Cat here, she's just fascinated. Normally, she's scared of things that, like, drive at her, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe she thinks it's, like, another cat or something. I don't know. It's also not going as quick as the uh, little RC cars are that we have in the house, so. But, yeah, I'm really having a good time with it. Like I said, this is uh, what you see through the camera, so. You know, a little tiny bit of lag, but nothing really bad. I Like I said, I surprised the wife when I drove it upstairs. She wasn't expecting it, so. Yeah, all right, Robo Buddy, check it out, guys. Check it out. You only get a 60 day warranty uh, from the manufacturer, which is not good. I think they should give you a year. But I get it. You know, it is a toy, it's something that's going to get played with, it's going to get some use. And uh, there you go. So, Robo Buddy, all right, check it out. And uh, just go to maybe see if Kmart.com still has them on sale. Otherwise, I think Sears.com was also selling them for. Uh, 50 bucks. All right. You really can't go wrong. So, all right, guys, have fun, be safe, take care. And as always, we will talk to you soon. All right, guys. Goodbye.